Okay, let's install WordPress. I am in the email that HostGator.com sent to me after I registered. And what you will need is your control panel link. We're gonna click on that in just a second. And they give you the username as well as your password. Those are the two things that you're gonna need to log into the control panel. So let's go ahead and click that link. And so we will enter our username. And as a note, not your email address, but your username. And then you'll input the password that they generated for you in that email and click login. And this is your HostGator control panel. Now you might get a pop-up advertising a cloud backup system, which is something you might actually want to consider in the future, but for today we're going to X out of that. Also, they give you a pop-up to help you get started. It's a getting started wizard, which guides you through basic setup steps. Um, so if you want to do that, that's fine, but I am perfectly fine. And if you never want to see that again, you can click don't show this again. So we're going to click no, I'm fine, thanks. And just looking around a little bit, you'll see that they have quite a bit here. They have special offers, host gator links, preferences, and more. And also I want to point out that depending on when you sign up for this, there may be a Google AdWords um, offer for you, which is something that you will definitely want to look into. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that you'll see WordPress in several different spots within this control panel. There's a WordPress hosting um, install now button here, getting started with WordPress today. Those may change location depending on when you sign up with HostGator. However, if you scroll down, down, you will see under software services, there's a link called quick install. And I'm going to use that today for this tutorial, just because this one should pretty much stay where it is, whereas the other one may move around. So let's select quick install. And then over on the left hand side, under blog software, there's WordPress, select that. And here you'll see that they give you a quick rundown of what WordPress is. It's basically free web software that you can use to create a blog or a website. And they have the version listed here. It should be the latest version. Now we'll click continue. And this is the short form that you'll need to fill out in order to install WordPress. Now the first thing I want to point out is the application URL. This is where you will find the app in your browser. In other words, this is the path where you'll want to install WordPress. Now if you leave this field blank, WordPress will be installed to your main domain. And if you add the word, let's say, blog in here, then that's where WordPress will be installed. Meaning that in order to get to your site, you'll have to put in, for this example, shamiryoung.com forward slash blog. Now, if I were just installing a website, a WordPress site on shamiryoung.com, and I just want people to type in shamiryoung.com in order to get to the website, then I would leave this field blank. Now, once you've decided that, you can go ahead and fill out the rest of this here. And just so you know, the admin email, the blog title, the first and the last name, those are things that you can change afterwards. So, you know, it's not so much pressure. So we will go ahead and fill this out. And when you're done with that, you can click install now. And give it a second. And this is the congratulations that you'll see after it's done. Take note that they give you your username and your password to log into your WordPress site. And you can get to your site by clicking this link here. And there you go. Your website is up. It's ready for you. And you're probably wondering how you log into your WordPress website. Well, they give you a direct link for that. It's called admin area. So we'll go ahead and click that. And here's where you'll input the username and the password that they just gave you. So that's what we'll do in the next video.